Well, hey, folks. I am down in South Louisiana, back in the sugarcane fields on this beautiful, beautiful morning doing a little metal detecting. I got my brother with me. Uh, we've been here for just a few minutes. Look at this field behind me back here. It's, uh, it is a beautiful day. It's, uh, I don't know, 59 degrees. The farmers are out working, spraying the fields. Hopefully not this one. I'm on my first row, um, and we're excited to be down here. This field has produced a lot of stuff for both of us, I think, but uh, for me, for sure, when I lived back down here, um, pretty sure there was an old plantation commissary here. Tons of coins in this field, silver, old coppers. You just don't know what you're going to get in this field. So not going to say any more about it. We're ready to dig. Let's get after it. All right, well, I'm on my first row here. Uh, I've picked up a parasol uh, piece, parasol clip, the little, um, looks like a little wagon wheel kind of item. I'll show that later. And then I just picked up a piece of an old clock, one of the gears, but figured I'd go ahead and grab that. That's my first marble back down in Louisiana. Is it gonna be whole? Yes, it is. All right. On the board with a marble. I bet we find more of those today. All right, still, still in that same row. Just dug the, uh, just found the marble just a few minutes ago. I called my brother over and I said, this really sounds like a coin. He agreed. And look what I see right here. Look right there. I see read it. What's it going to be? What's it gonna be? Is that seated? Let's get some spray on it. It's a beautiful morning out here. He's about two rows over. Are you working? He's over there working. He's on his phone. How you gonna dig silver when you're working? I got a seated dime. Look at this. Just goes to show you, this place is never hunted out. 1851. Beautiful. Philadelphia Mint. Wow, that thing's got some detail. Let's get a, zoom, a little zoom in here. Look at that. 1851. Liberty. Beautiful little coin. Hey, that's not bad for being here for half an hour. All right, well, hope that didn't jinx the day getting it this early, but uh, we'll take it. Let's keep rolling. Boy, it's just a gorgeous day out here. Wind's dying down. Sun's warming up a little bit. I just popped a little debuckle. Where'd it go? <laughs> Came out of the hole. Oh, there it is right there. You're probably looking at it. On the board with a little D. Man, those things bring up nice. 74, 75. Just a crisp sound. Okay, another, another good relic. All right, looks like I've got a uh, little small bottle here. I don't think it's going to be too old, and I think the top may be broken. Yeah, it is. Look at that. Still a cool little bottle. <laughs> All right, so my brother and I were talking, and we're going to have a contest to see who can find the coolest piece of pottery or broken glass. We'll show them in the wrap-up, and you guys can tell us tell us who has the coolest piece. All right, there's that little uh, there's that little bottle. I don't know how many of these I'm gonna record, but uh, we'll go ahead and add that one more. And my brother just picked up a uh, clay marble over there. 
So that's three marbles for the day. Two glass, two clay. All right, got a couple things here I want to show you guys. First is this cool piece of pottery. My brother walked by another piece of this. I'll show it later, but I, that's got to be in the contention right there for the coolest piece. Look at that. And then uh, this piece of a lantern or either a, uh, an old lamp. You can see the uh, wick piece coming up there and then the uh, control knob coming off the top of it. So that's early. Love finding this old stuff. All right, we got an iffy signal here. We'll see what it is. He's gonna dig it. Definitely a high tone on both the CTX and the Manicore. He's swinging the CTX. I think it was deep. I didn't even. What is that? Kind of tag? Yeah. Or is that a medallion? <laughs> it's got fancy on it. Look at that. What is that? It's got a hole punch. I don't know. That almost looks like a uh, shield in the middle. Or a bursting sun. Yeah. We'll get it cleaned up. All right, we both swung over a signal here. Uh, I was ringing up a 7980 on the Manicore. Uh, my brother said it could possibly be a coin. It's 1243 on the CTX. 1243 on the CTX, he said. Uh, see what we see here. Definitely just had a coinish sound to me. Apparently, I've missed it completely. Right there. Let's see if we can get it pop out of there. No, it's trash. Is it really? It did not sound like trash to me. All right. All right, got a little interesting find here. Popped it out from right there. I can already tell by the shape of it, this is, this is gonna be a plantation token. Uh, and if you look right here, you can see where it's gonna say watch. So we're not exactly sure so there you go. So we've dug these before. I've, I've dug a pile of them um, here at this site specifically. So the uh, the back has the plantation name on it, and I'm not going to flip it over. Uh, but most of them are coin denominations. So like you know, five cent, ten cent, fifty cents, a dollar, even. Um, other tokens that I've found, you know, have like a uh, maybe a loaf of bread or some meat, but this one says "watch" on it, and we're not exactly sure if that's, you know, if this was meant to be redeemed for a watch. It's kind of weird, uh, but I guess that's possible. And this would have been used here on this plantation specifically at this plantation commissary or store. So it's a little brass token in the shape of a flower. Most of the other ones are round. There's one that's a hexagon. Uh, I think one of them is a... Uh, uh, no, one of them may be a diamond, I think. Yeah. So, yeah, very cool find. Um, definitely native to this particular 
site for this plantation. So cool piece of history right there. All right, well, I just uh, just dug that little watch token, that little flower token. And this definitely rang up like another token. And I think that's what it's going to be. And we're actually right near where the uh, what our, where I think the store was at. So that wouldn't make a lot of sense. I think this is going to be the uh, $1 variety. I'll get it cleaned up in here and show you the show you the one side that says $1 on it. Uh, but I think that's what that's going to be. So let me get this cleaned up real quick. There you go. Clearly you can see $1. If I flip it over this way and keep my finger on the bottom, you can see right there, good for $1 at the blank store. And that's where the uh, plantation's name is at. But that's what that is. Two plantation tokens in a row. I did a, uh, a little... A um, little backstory, a little piece of history on these. I do not remember what episode it was, but maybe like one of the episodes in the 20s. Um, and I give the full history of these and how they were used. So I will uh, I will post that in the comments of this video if you if you want to go back and watch that. But it's a little five or six minute little history on these things. Very cool piece of history. All right, we're calling Silver Quarter on this. Where's it at? How'd you miss that? I didn't re pinpoint it. Don't don't be a clad quarter. Be a seated. Aw, what is it? You've got to be kidding. How does that? Is, oh, you got that's the one on toothpaste, the, medicine, something. Ah, uh, womp We're trying it again. A dime signal. Both of us thinks it's a dime. Just hit it with your finger right there. Watch that dime pop out. Oh, right there. Turn it over. Right there, all day long. Is that a barber? Let's see what it is. That's a Merc. Is it? It better not be a Burke. It's too light. Seated. Is it? Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's seated. Look at the coloration on that. Finally. 18 1887. Come on. Outstanding. All right, well, that's two... That's two Three. seated Liberty Dimes for the day. <laughs> He'll get it cleaned up, and I'll get a close-up in just a second. All right, 1887. Look at that. The back has got some weird gunk on it. I don't know what that is. I can't make out a mint mark on it. But that's another seated Liberty. Dime. If I could get this thing to focus. There we go. Now you can see the detail. That's got a lot of good detail on it. Okay, on we go. Guys, I just almost had a heart attack. I've got a bad heart as it is. Oh my goodness, this was right here on the surface. And I saw that gold, which it's gonna be a very cool find. But I saw that gold just gleaming right there. Can you see, oh, you're not even over here. Look at that, let me get a picture of this and I'll be right back. Okay. I'm uh, I'm breathing again. Let's uh, let's see what we got. Definitely got a complete intact shank. I can already see a design on the front. Wow! 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 I think it's going to be a civilian. Let me get a little spray on it. All right, I think there's going to be a design on it. I'm not going to mess with it anymore. I'll get some lemon juice on it. But man, that backing. Oh, man. 
Kinder. What's that say? Kendrick. Yeah, Kendrick. Uh, something worth. Definitely be able to get the full back mark off of it, but very cool find. Uh, that's my first flat button for the day. One piece flat button. But man, that gold got me. All right, well, I got a uh, got a little musket ball here. Yeah. Banged up a little bit, but uh, dug plenty of Civil War stuff out of this field. I actually dug War of 1812 uh, buttons out of this field, so it goes way back. We'll take that musket ball. All right, well, we're still at it here. We just had some lunch. Came back down to where we kind of left off and I just popped some kind of little, uh, I don't know what that is. Is that an earring piece? I doubt it. Something off a necklace, it's brass. It's got a little fancy down at the bottom of it. Jewelry, whatever it is, brass jewelry. Older. So we'll always take stuff like that. Kind of look like a uh, pull tab, but all right, all right. Well, that was uh, got my first coin surface find of the day. Here's the imprint, already popped it off. See it right there? It's gonna be an 1889 V nickel or Liberty Head nickel, as they're called. Look at that 1889. Come on now. See later, Lady Liberty facing to the left there. And you can see the V right in the middle. These ring up, nickels ring up low always. So that was about a uh, 20, 24 I think on the Manicore. 1889, all right. Oh, I finally got my first clay marble out here today. It was right here in the bank, and I just hit it with my shovel, and it rolled down. Absolutely. First clay marble back down in Louisiana. I think I've only dug a, I don't know, two or three maybe of these up north, Tennessee, since I've moved up there. But these are very common down here. I think my brother's already got three of them for today. That's my first one. We've both got several other marbles, so cool find. All right, he's saying shield nickel. Let's see. Just dug that V nickel not too far from here. I know that wind is blowing. Those shield nickels are hard to get a date off of. That date's so small. 18. If I could see, I could tell you. Yeah, they're tiny. But it's in great shape. Oh wow, look at that. Look at that green on there. Look at that. That sucker's perfect. <laughs> oh yeah, easily get a date. 1868? I say easily. Yeah, 1868 I think is what that is. Look at the detail on that. That's the best one I've ever seen. Well, both with Seated Liberty Dimes. I've got a V nickel, 1889, and now he just pulled a shield nickel. So we're going step for step. Let's get some more silver. All right, I had another nickel signal here. It's going to be right here. Digging three nickels in a row. What's this one gonna be? Ooh, that's smooth. Smooth, smooth. Hmm. I don't know if we're gonna get any detail off this one. Let me work on it a minute and I'll be right back. Well, at least we can get an idea off of it and a date. 1901. 
another Liberty head. That side is completely smooth. No doubt about it, Liberty head V nickel. Three nickels in a row for us. Hey, not gonna complain about that. These are cool old coins. Yeah, there's my brother over there. I just popped something big and round and green. And I'm not sure what it was. It was a 6970. Is it gonna be a large copper? British maybe? What is this? I see a bust on there already. What is it? Let me get two hands on it. It may be some kind of token. It doesn't feel exactly like a coin. I don't know. Let me work on it a minute. I have no idea what this is, guys. Maybe a, uh, a Mexican coin. Let's see some... Uh, something there. It's not an old copper, I don't think. I don't... I think that's a Mexican coin, like a 20 centavos or something. I found those recently. I don't know. All right, well, we are calling it a day. You're gonna hear some, gonna hear some road noise. We're out right beside the road, but there is the wrap up. <laughs> Look at all that. A lot of it pottery pieces. We were picking up a lot of different uh, broken pottery pieces, the plates and dishes and things, but here's my trash down in there. I'm sure Darren's got just as much as that. Uh, all right, let's uh, remember you got to pick your favorite. Uh, I think that's probably going to be my favorite right there. Pick your favorite piece of pottery. Is it zooming in? I don't know if that's focusing or not, but that's cool. It's got a little building on it. That one or both of those. Yeah, those are both early. All right, so he's got all kinds of knickknacks, pieces of lead, rivets, all the different pottery. I've got two pieces of that. A bunch of little white plastic and porcelain buttons. He definitely won for the marbles. He had three and a half clay marbles. No, almost four. Uh, several glass, some buckles. Not sure about this piece. Looks familiar. More up there. Uh, this, don't know still. Not sure why my camera's not focusing. Maybe you can see that. Uh, I think I have the counter, the uh, partner piece to this one. It's not focusing at all. Let me stop my camera for just a second. All right, now you can see better. So I think I have dug a piece just like this out here before. I'll, I'll have to look when I get home, but I think that's gonna be an old, old one piece flat button. Uh, some rings, what else down here? A couple odds and ends we don't know about. All right, so this is pretty interesting. If you've watched all my videos before, you've seen one of those. Anyone recognize it? That's a lead pecan and it's pecan, not pecan. This is, uh, the soldiers out of boredom are for reasons lost to history. They would cut open or drill a hole in a pecan and pour hot lead into a pecan shell, and it would basically kind of, uh, you know, burn up the meat inside the pecan, and you'd left, be left with a lead pecan. I've dug one or two of them myself before, but that is exactly what that is. Unusual piece of history. Got a 56 uh, Spencer. I think that's the one, oh, we got some musket balls, but that's the one definite piece of uh, Civil War relics today. And then, am I missing anything? 18, what do we say, 68, something like that. Look at that. Look at the detail on that. Shill nickel. And his seat at 1887. Seated Liberty Dime. I think if you just drop that in some lemon juice, that's going to clean up. 1887. Uh, my pieces over here, 
Got different uh, pieces of bottlenecks. Here's my pottery. Not sure what this is. Never seen anything like that before. Just the one clay marble, three glass, a couple doll limbs, an arm, leg, whatever that is. Some little flat buttons, more pottery pieces. So if I were voting pottery, I think I would definitely go with, where'd it go? I would go with this one. Just because it's got the little palace looking house on it. I don't know what that is. But this is also a strong front runner as well. There's another one with a house. Oh yeah. So either one of those I like. Uh, some odds and ends. I think that's a piece of an old bell. Don't know about this. Kind of a weird looking thing. Piece of a uh, lock. Parasol piece. A couple debuckles. A uh, lantern piece or an oil lamp. Key lock cover. Some lead. Um, found, so these are interesting. Two flattened musket balls. And then right beside them, an actual musket ball. So I don't know about that. That one's chewed up a bit. And then uh, my more desirables here. This is the little charm thing, necklace thing. Don't know what it is. Got the one wheat scent. Don't know if I got that on film. One stinking Lincoln. Uh, here's that gold button that nearly stopped my heart. I'll drop that into some lemon juice. Get that thing cleaned up. I uh, got the 1901 Liberty Head Nickel and then the 1880, what did I say? 1889 Liberty Head, so two V-Nickels. Uh, the two plantation tokens, $1 and the watch variety. And uh, I think that's going to be a 10 centavos Mexican coin. You can see it across there now, 10 centavos. I don't know the date on that. It looks like it says 18-something. I'm not sure. Hmm. Maybe it is 1800s. And then my one one silver for the day, 1851 Seated Liberty dime. All in all, I think you could call that a pretty good day. So I think that's going to do it. As always, thanks for watching. We will see you guys next time.